Hey, this is Iya Yuganet, a visual artist and art educator. I'm a Christian artist who is proud of uh, being Christian. For some people who see my art, they might think that I'm not from Africa, but there is hope and light in Africa because we believe in God. So those who, those who believe in God has a light in their heart. So if they magnify it, they have something to share for other people. This is a power of, a power of prayer, you know? A person who pray uh, is like a person who, sh who shine the light for the darkness. I'm an artist who want to magnify 1% of the light than, you know, discussing or speaking about the 99% of darkness. And in the second painting, you can see that we know that the, the plants are green, but here is the yellowish and a pure light grow as a, a plant. That's something uh, different, Im full of imagination. That's, uh, you know, the hope is all the time there as far as God is in charge, as far as the most ultimate powerful personality God is there. And as you can see, I use symbolically head portrait of the, the cow, portrait of the ox, uh, that the ox, I found out the, the ox is the most powerful character uh, in my community, where it gives all its meat, we eat its meat, and we mounted, we mounted it and made a drum out of it. So we worship God through it. And we use its dung, its waste, as an energy. We use it for everything. But just the cow never, never ask a special favor. They just, they are there with what they supposed to do. There are this cow in the church. There are this cow in a marriage. There is this cow in a family. Those people who, who never expect anything from them, they just do what they supposed to do. The last book of the Bible, Revelation, from four animals, one of them is an ox. That's symbolizes the sacrifice of Jesus. There is an elongated, so long hot house that's traditionally most of the Ethiopian uh, people lived. That's a symbolic expression uh, of me uh, expressing an elevated perspective. Even though there is limitation to the front side, back, there is still one option which which would which never can you know cover that's to grow to the heaven lastly there is many people standing like a collective that's that's how we are created even though we say we we need to do things individually you know no one is created for himself the mother for the child the child for the mother the minister for the public, the public for the minister. So we are, we, we mean to be together. In the Bible, we are called to unite and you know, to bring those people who are shaped, characterized by the face of Lord Jesus Christ. The concept of new heaven and new earth is, it's a, res a recent theme idea which came to my mind. I was thinking, uh, the new heaven, the new earth would come later. But I, I later I understand that it's there already. A person who lives in Christ and live a full life is already started that new heaven. There is nothing than living in Christ himself. Now, if I reconcile myself with God, I would automatically start to reconcile with myself and with the people around me. If the people reconcile each other, you know, they, they would, their village would be good for another village. 
the country for another country, then if his will happened in this earth, then this, the same earth, the same object, the same air would be different completely. So the, the heaven would be opened. In that case, even the, the, the heaven would be new. It's our will which restricts us from God. Grace Center is uh, one of the places which I consider uh, God is working. And uh, I'm so grateful and I would pray for you to be more fruitful and God shall heal all those children and you know uh, fully function and let the, the will of God you know fully work in your ministry it, it has been a blessing and I really appreciate uh, working with you guys that's God's place I know people say some special churches or a place where the word of God preached but I would I, I would add one more yes a place where people treated the way Jesus treat is God's place he is there